In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can control a camera using uh, the right joystick of a controller. We're going to be able to rotate our camera around our player and we're going to also be able to make our player face the direction in which the camera is rotating. This video is part of my new series of videos that is focused on creating a 3D RPG in Godot 4.1. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, that's like two episodes before. And in that video, we're going to focus only on creating a camera because creating a camera in a 3D game is very important because it defines the genre of your game. As always, the asset is available in the link of the description and I also have in the description my game Lone Knight that is available for wishlist on Steam and it will be released next year in 2024. Next video, we're going to focus on creating a jump and state machine, but uh, right now we're going to focus on making our camera, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do for the camera is first I'm going to uh, take the camera right now and I'm gonna just get it out of the player. I'm gonna reparent my camera to my main level node. Uh, what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna go to my player and I'm gonna go to the transform right here. I'm gonna increase that, uh, that window a little bit and I'm gonna just click on that button to reset the position of my player. I'm gonna go to my camera and I'm gonna uh, do the same. I'm gonna go to my transform. I'm just gonna reset this and this. So like this I can make sure that I don't have any uh, thing that can potentially create issue in the future. So now what I want to do is I want to go to my player and I want to click uh, on plus and create a, a simple node 3D. That node 3D I'm gonna call it cam underscore gimbal. Just know that in Godot you also have a specific node that you can use. For example you can click on plus and you can look for remote transform 3D. This one and you can do some stuff with it but like me it uh, doesn't work on what I want to do so I'm preferring it. I prefer to do uh, the camera my way so that's why I'm, I'm uh, doing it this way. So now that I have my player, my gimbal is attached to my player, what I can do is I can take my camera and I can attach that to my cam gimbal and so now I have that structure. I I have my player here, I have my cam gimbal and I have my camera 3D. And so now what I can do is I can take not my cam gimbal but my camera 3D and I can just uh, remove it. I can like uh, I can go here, click on preview and I can move it from where my player is and I can just remake my shape a little bit. Something potentially like that looks about right to me. Something like this. I'm going to take my player and I'm just going to remove it. Something like that, I think. Uh, and so now what I want to do is I want to use that cam gimbal to rotate the camera. If I take the camera and I go, for example, here on rotation uh, on rotation Y, this is what's going on. Like the camera rotate on itself. And that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is I want my camera to rotate around my player. So that's why I have created that cam, cam gimbal right here. Because if I go to that cam gimbal and uh, I go to my transform, if I rotate my Y uh, axis, you can see that it rotates around my cam gimbal because my cam gimbal is basically at the same point than my player. So that's what I want to do. So for that I'm going to attach a script on my cam gimbal. I'm going to click on the cam gimbal, click here on the script icon. I'm going to put that into my script folder that is right here and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it UI, something like this. And I am going to save my script right there. So it's going to inherit my node uh, 3D and that's going to be good. So I'm going to click on create. And so now I have that uh, node that is created. So now what I want to do is I want to be uh, able to have the camera that follow my player when I move, but I want to be able to rotate around my uh, player when I am using the right joystick of my gamepad. So that's what I'm going to configure. And for configuring this, what I need to do is I need to create input. So that's going to be a good, uh, a good way for me to show you how you can configure input uh, specifically for a game uh, controller. So here I'm going to go on project, project setting, and I'm going to go to input map and here I'm going to create a bunch of new action that a uh, new action is basically a new input that's what it means and here I'm going to start with first cam underscore rotation underscore left and I'm going to click on add then I'm going to go and create cam underscore rotation underscore the right and I'm going to add it as well then I'm going to uh, create cam uh, gimbal underscore up like this 
and then I'm going to create cam underscore gimbal underscore down like this. And so now I need to attach uh, an input to each of those uh, those new inputs that I've created. So let's start with cam rotation left. I'm going to get my uh, game uh, game controller. It's already plugged to my um, to my PC. And what I want to do here is I want to just click on plus and I'm going to go to my right controller and I'm going to click on left like this. And you can see now I have joypad axis to right stick left, joystick one left. So now I can click on OK. Now I'm going to click on cam rotation right. I'm going to click on the plus. And here I'm going to uh, go to the right with my joystick. And so here you can see right stick uh, right, joystick one right. OK. Then I'm going to go to cam gimbal up, click on the plus. And here I'm going to go to up like this. I'm going to click on OK, and then here I'm going to click on the plus for cam gimbal down, and I'm going to go down like this. And everything is all right. So that's good. So now we have that configured. So now I can use this into my script folder. What I want to do is uh, I want to uh, obviously check my camera regularly. So I need to uh, put all the code into a function that is uh, check regularly, which is the case of process delta, which is check 60 frames per second. And so here what I want to do is I want to make a bunch of if, if statement. So here I'm going to say if input dot is action press, this one here, action press, uh, I'm going to call my cam rotation left. And here, what I want to do is I want to uh, change the rotation uh, on the Y axis. So here I'm going to do rotation dot Y plus equal 1.0 time the delta of our uh, game. So now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to do the same for input right. So I'm going to say input dot is action press. And here we're going to get our uh, cam rotation right. I'm going to here uh, this time check the rotation dot y and I'm going to set it to be equal to minus equal uh, 1.0 time delta. Then here I'm going to get my other input. So here it's going to be input is action press. Uh, and this time it's going to be cam gimbal up. Here I'm going to get the position where I am because I want to move on the Y axis and I also want to rotate. So here I'm going to get my position dot Y and this time I'm going to set it equal to minus equal uh, 1.0 time delta. And then what I want to do is I want to also get the rotation dot X, rotation dot X. And here I want to set it equal to minus equal I'm going to put 0 0.3 time delta like this. And so now we want to have our uh, input for uh, the gimbal down when the camera goes uh, down. So here I'm going to do if input dot is action press and this time it's going to be cam gimbal down. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get the position dot y and this time I'm, I'm going to set it plus equal to 1.0 multiply by the delta. Then we're going to get the rotation dot x and we're going to set it to plus equal or uh, zero time three. So I'm taking the same uh, value that I'm creating here uh, time delta. And we are good now. So now what I can do is I can uh, just try to see if it works. So I'm going to launch the game. And I'm playing with my uh, controller right now. And first, I'm going to try if, to see if I can move. I can move my player. That's fine. And let's see now if I move my camera. And you can see that I can move my camera. And I can move up. I can move down. And I can move to the right. And if I move my player, I can move my camera around. But the problem is that if you're trying right now to move the player, you can see that uh, the input change a little bit and you have to keep the, the, the player going in the right way. You have to like readjust uh, the, 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 how to say, the input of your player. So here, for example, what I would like to do is like, I'm uh, working forward here I'm pressing forward, but I'm going backward. So now we need to readjust the um, input of our player to the rotation of our camera. And uh, it's quite 
easy to do. What we need to do is we need to just uh, go back to our player script. So I'm going to close that, uh, that uh, script right here. I'm going to go back to my player here, click on the script. And what I want to do, I'm going to close the window and I'm going to just put that like this. What I want to do is I want first to get a reference to my uh, cam gimbal. So for that, I just, I just need to go to my, uh, to the top of my script. And here I'm going to do an at on ready var. I'm going to call it camera. And that camera, I'm going to send it, I'm going to set it equal to dollar sign cam gimbal like this. Now that this is done, I have access to my camera node on my player. And so now I can change the uh, camera movement where my player uh, is uh, rotating. And so what I can do is like it's on that line here, the var direction that this happens. So what I can do is I can just do control C. I can pass it just under and I'm just going to comment this one. And what I want to do here is basically I want to uh, change some stuff. First, I'm going to remove the uh, transform basis here. I don't need it anymore. Uh, I'm going to also remove that uh, parenthesis here. I don't really, well, I, I, I'm going to just delete everything. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to set that direction uh, to be equal to a vector three. And that vector three is going to take a movement dot X. Then we're going to put zero. Then we're going to take our movement dot y like this and then we're gonna go out of the parenthesis and we're gonna put dot rotated and here between parentheses we're gonna tap two things we're gonna tap a vector three dot up and we're gonna get the rotation of our camera that we have right here so first we put vector three dot up like this and then we are putting camera dot rotation dot y and then to make sure that there is no issue, what you can do is you can get out of the parenthesis and you do dot normalize. And so like this, this will make sure that we don't apply two times uh, the same vector when we are making some movement. So now with that done, it should work. So let's uh, play uh, the, the game and let's see if it works. So here I'm pressing up and if I move my camera and I continue to move uh, still uh, forward, I have the uh, rotation of my player that follow the rotation of my camera. And the good, the good way to, uh, the, the good reason to use that method is that if I want my player to go on the opposite side, it still works and I can still rotate my camera independently. But when I want to move and if I want to move my player at the same time, I can just rotate my camera and that's everything works fine. So this is the basic of how to create a camera 3D in Godot. You can do the same thing uh, in uh, by using a mouse. There's already a, a plethora of like tutorial on how to control a, a camera with the mouse. Tell me if you want me to, um, to make one. But uh, me personally, as a, as a player, I prefer to use my gamepad controller and I've never seen uh, a tutorial about this uh, specific topic in Godot. And that's why I was looking to make that tutorial. So I hope it has been helpful for you. So that's it for me. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it's the case, don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Me, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video where we're going to focus on creating our jump and the state machine of our player. So see you in the next one. Bye.